I was in Ohio and I said, God, I know this is your voice and I'm going to worship you in the beauty of holiness. And whatever comes of this is going to become the outcome of whether I'm going to get up and preach your word or whether I'm going to step down and whether I'm just going to go back in my little rut that I was already in. Amen. But I had to realize that worship comes before the voice. Sometimes, amen, worship is how you can get your answer to the voice. And that's something I've been struggling with because maybe my style of worship is different than your style. Amen, maybe I want to run and jump and dance and holler. And maybe you want to sit there and say, bless him, Lord. Amen, but all things work together for the good to those that are called. I feel like we're all called and our worship has to work together as one because the same voice that called me it's the same voice that's calling you. Amen. To worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Amen. I feel like when I see somebody outside that's dressed so appropriate, there's a glow and a beauty about them. There's something about them, a beauty of holiness. The Bible says that beauty is vain. Amen. But there's a whole other type of beauty. Amen. There's a beauty. Young lady, there's a beauty that you don't have to put stuff on. You don't have to wear stuff tight. Young man, there's a beauty to where you don't have to show off everything you got. There's a beauty that comes from the inside. Amen. One thing I struggled with more than anything as a kid, I was bigger. Hey man, I still am. But I've learned to embrace it. Because everybody calls me I'm big. You know, so I just go with it. Hey man. But one thing I struggle with was trying to look like everybody else. Hey man, everybody, all my friends, they were skinny and they were in shape and they did this and they did that. Hey man. But I found out later in life that my, that my personality is a prideful personality if I don't keep it in check. Hey man, and if I would have went with the things and if I would have worked out and died I don't know where I would be today. But the voice of the Lord didn't speak to me and say, work out. He didn't speak to me and say, hey man, you got to go on a diet. He said, preach my word and do what I tell you. And these things will be added to you in due season. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm about done. Every morning. But I feel like that there's a voice that's not the Lord. And I know there is. But I feel like he's talking to some people. I feel like he's saying you ain't good enough. Hey Amen. He's saying, you know, your hair, it's you need to you need to cut it off. It don't it's hanging down too low and everybody's gonna think you're one of those people. Hey Amen. But you gotta embrace what the Lord has given you. Hey Amen. Hear the voice of God. And it says, wait upon the Lord. We was with my aunt the other night. She started quoting scripture. It says, wait upon the Lord and he shall renew your strength. Hey Amen. You might be down for a season. Hey Amen. You might feel like that all hope is gone and everything is going wrong. And you feel like you gotta change yourself. Hey Amen. But you don't gotta change anything about the outward man. It's the inward man starving for something new. Yeah. Amen. Sarah, would you come to the piano? I'm done. Amen. Right. And I feel just like somebody needs to listen to the voice of the Lord. Right. Amen. This message might be just for me. He might just be giving it to me. And it could be that somebody in here feels like that he's gone and that there's no way that that voice is ever going to come back. Hey Amen. You say, I ain't felt conviction. You say, I ain't felt the Lord. I've been in meetings that were out of this world and I ain't felt nothing. Hey Amen. Well, this morning, the feeling isn't what it is. It's hearing that voice and heeding to the call. The feeling will come. Hey Amen. But the voice of the Lord is a gentle voice and it speaks quietly. Hey Amen. And it flows so smooth. Amen. And it makes the hardest of hearts tremble. At the sound of his voice, demons have to flee. And at the sound of his voice, amen, all things have to become new. At the sound of his voice, amen, you can make a whole new life if you come to the altar. Amen. And she begins to play whenever she's ready. Sinner man, sinner woman, amen, boy, girl, Amen. Depressed. Anxiety. 
Amen. Hatred. Amen. Bitterness. Strife. Anger. Malice. Amen. Anything. But there's a voice that isn't up here. Amen. Yeah. And there's a voice that isn't saying, come on. There's a voice that's saying, come unto me. All ye that are weary and are heavy laden. It doesn't say that you're lost. Amen. But sometimes we get tired and weary and we don't know what the next turn is going to be. Amen. But there's a song that says, with Jesus I can make it. And with him I know that I can stand. Amen. Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. And God the Father is smiling down and looking at us and saying, would you just listen to me? Would you just hear my voice? Amen. One of the biggest quotes I've heard all my life is if you don't listen, you're going to have to feel. Amen. As bad as that sounds, it's the truth. If you don't listen, you're going to have to reap the consequences of sitting in church after church after church and seeing the glory of the Lord manifested and sitting there and never making a move when God says come. Right now, would you want to come? I'm not going to tarry long. I'm not going to tell everybody to bow their heads and raise your hand because you already know what shape you're in. Amen. I can tell what shape some of you are in by the look on your face, by the fruit you bear. Amen. But he said that if you would come, that he would make all things new. Amen. He said that when he comes again to receive his bride, that he's going to robe us in white and give us a crown. Amen. This size off shirt ain't going to mean nothing to me because eventually every single one of us in this building is going to bow whether we want to or not and confess that he is Lord. Amen. But with our voice, if it's not intertwined with his voice, it does nothing. But his voice is calling. Amen. If there was anyone that want to come right now, amen, I'm done. And I'll get the church to come pray. But I feel like there's somebody that's got to heed to the voice of the Lord. There's some things in life that you'll never be able to do anything about unless you call upon the name of the Lord. There's some things he lets you do on your own. Amen. But when push comes to shove, there's certain things that we just can't do unless we hear the voice and heed to what he's called us to do. Amen, church, let's come pray. Amen, and get in these altars.